In the 2015-2016 season, wrestling will return to Milliken University. It's one of 120 college wrestling programs that's been added since 2001. So I find out why this decision was made and what it means for the bottom line. No one has seen wrestling at Milliken University in seven years, not after it was dropped. So why bring it back? We are running a small business. Any small college at this level, we are running a business. A $100,000 donation from a Millican wrestling alum made that business decision a lot easier. It made it say, okay, now, now, we, we got it all. And let's use that $100,000 and, and invest it in personnel. Enter Ryan Burt. Dr. White is handing me a program that I get to pretty much construct and build uh, a championship program the way that I've, that I've seen it. At Loris College in Iowa, where he was the associate head wrestling coach, he says he helped a team go from about 87th in the country to as high as 8th over a three and a half year period. Bert hails from Urbana, but had never seen Milliken until he interviewed for the job. Well, first impressions are everything. The buildings are beautiful. The people here are wonderful. The support that you feel when you walk in here and you know that, um, hey, these guys are going to have your back. And there's one additional key piece. Illinois is a great wrestling state. In fact, it's one of the greatest wrestling spectator and participation bases in the country. That's according to Mike Moyer, executive director of the National Wrestling Coaches Association. We have upwards to 17,000 high school wrestlers in the state. According to estimates for Moyer, startup costs for a Division III program are fairly cheap. Wrestling mats cost around $10,000, so if Milliken orders a couple, they're looking at spending around $20,000. Uniforms and practice gear at up to about $10,000. An operating budget is usually between $35,000 and $50,000, plus coaches' salaries. There are no athletic scholarships in Division Three, so all of that adds up to, at most, $150,000 in startup costs. And don't forget, in this case, Milliken has the $100,000 donation. We have case studies out there that show a Division Three, a brand new Division Three wrestling program by year number three can actually net over a million dollars for the institution through the, the additional tuition dollars that come to the school. No mats here yet, but it's at this gym at the Griswold Center where the wrestling team will be competing. This facility is where all indoor sports and some outdoor practice and play. But first things first. Hey coach. Hey coach. Hey coach. Hey coach. This is Ryan Burt, Milliken University. First thing we got to do is get a team. Have a great day. Recruiting is is right away what we're doing. Two sport athlete Paul Selman is just who Burt is looking for. I started wrestling in seventh grade, and that's helped me keep focus in school. And I just love the sport. I'm excited to get you know my hands on kids like Paul and other kids who really want to establish themselves in the sport of wrestling. And on a team, that's taking off. I think three, four years when we look back and we are leading the CCIW and top three in the country, we're going to look back and say, hey, this is where it started. The world's a better place with more wrestling, I feel, because it's one more challenge for uh, young men to have to go through to continue their education. That challenge begins this fall. To balance adding the men's wrestling program under Title IX, Athletic Director White says the school is studying what women's sport it'll add next. They're considering triathlon, lacrosse, or even bowling, to name a few.